hey Kevin, what are you doing? I had a request the other day for a little more information on a metal lay. You know, I showed you a little bit about you know just the basics of what it was, how it worked, and I got several requests saying, "Could you give us a little more? You know, let's talk about the tooling a little bit. You know, what what kind of tooling is there? What do we need to be able to do something?" So, all right, what is tooling? You know, when you say tooling for a machine for a lathe, tooling for a mill, what exactly are we talking about here? What we're talking about is the various tools that you need to actually work the machine. So these are a couple of boring bars. Yeah, I know it's pretty boring, but you know, a couple of different diameters. More material removed, less material, obviously. But if you're only working in a little tiny hole, you know, this is the one you need. Bigger holes, you want to open something up even bigger, go to a bigger boring bar. Longer reach, you, know, you can reach farther into a hole. Bigger diameter shaft here, so when you extend these out to be able to reach farther in, you get less chatter. You get less flex on the end of that bar, so you get a smoother cut down inside the machine. And then you've got other tools, other tooling. This is called a parting tool, or a cutoff tool. The cutting end is right here. It's a little uh, changeable insert. Real, real tiny little insert that goes in there. This bar, you reuse. The little inserts, they wear out. You throw them away, you put a new one in. Now this one's kind of cool because it's double-ended. This is a knurling wheel or set of wheels, you can put a single knurl or a double knurl, like on the handle of a ratchet, that little crosshatch pattern. Well, that's what you, this is the tool that you would use. It would go into the tool holder, and as the metal is sitting there spinning in the lathe, this way, you would either put one wheel against it for a single knurl, or both wheels for a double. Pretty cool. But it's got this slot cut in here with a couple of set screws, so you can put another tool holder. So this one is a right-handed, this is a left-handed. So depending on which way you're turning on a piece of metal, you know, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to get in behind something, you know, one of these may work better than the other. So right-handed, left-handed, straight. You know, where the, where the insert just sticks straight out of the end and you can adjust, adjust the whole thing from side to side. And of course it's really easy just to swap them back and forth. They, they just go onto the, the tool holder here and you just lock it down, now it's in. This one has two different sides on it that you can put a tool on. So, you know, like your boring bar can go on that way, if you're, you know, when you're doing boring, or you could put your turning tools on that way without having to turn this and you know, readjust everything, try to get everything square and straight again. And of course, with all these different tools, you know, with all these different cutters, you have to have all the different inserts to go in them. This is the high dollar item right here. It's not so much the machine. It's not so much the holders, it's the inserts that really get you. Because you can buy them singly, or you can buy them in packages like this. Some of these are gonna run you 15 to $25 each. Wow. In a package of 10, yeah. And now I know you're gonna ask, so come here, let me show you a trick. This catalog, uh, is a great catalog. They have so many, so many different things in there that I find I need around the shop, you know, around the studio. This is the section just for inserts, turning inserts for a lathe. That's all that's in this section right here, is just all the different inserts. Now, this is a company called MSC Industrial Supply. You can find them out on uh, out on the internet, or there's an 800 number right there. Very helpful people, especially for guys like me who are just starting out, who don't really understand what we're talking about. We just need the sharp pointy thing that goes in this holder, <laughs> and you can never find the right part number. Very, very helpful people. If you want to know more about these inserts, 
go out to MSD, talk to those folks, get online, look them up there. You can learn a whole lot about it, a lot more than I can tell you in a video. And yes, when you really need it, it makes a great doorstop too. <laughs> so that's pretty much what you're gonna have here working with a, a machine lathe like this, you're working with a tool lathe. I hope that answers your questions. So I'm gonna go back to work and I'll see you guys later. Hey Kevin, wrong machine. <laughs> yeah, that's true.